Hey guys, it's Dougal92, and I'm doing an Aragon Achievement Slash Game uh, review. Alright, so first off, a lot of people have gripes for this game. I do not. I found this game to be very enjoyable, and I had no problems with it, besides the flying. But I'll get into that. So let's talk about achievements real quick. Alright, there's 37 in the game. 36 are pretty much story-based. Those are beat the game on normal, and then beat the game on hard. They're not stackable, so you have to play the game twice. And then there's one collectible achievement, and you have to collect one egg per level. Don't even fret about that. Uh, Rooster Teeth has a great guide. Uh, achievement Hunters, I guess you would call them, that little group. But still, it's a great guide. Zero problems with that at all, really. Also, gameplay is very, very fun in this game. The fighting. The fighting. Not the flying. The fighting. I'm telling you, it is honestly fun. And you can run past a lot of the enemies. I found that out later. You can seriously just like run, unless there's like a part where you have to kill so many to continue. You don't even have to fight half the time. But anyway, all right. So I guess I can talk about the gripes. Uh, uh, let's talk about this real quick. All right, you get magic in the game. You can move crap. You can throw little spears around. It's pretty cool. Uh, the magic power I used most, almost through the entire game. I mean, seriously. Like that was my main attack is later on you get like this little super arrow, like magic arrow, and knocks them down. You run right up to them and you stab them, they're dead. Alright, that's easy. I mean, and it's fun, like, uh, just, uh, let's just keep talking. Alright, flying levels suck, but I'll get into that later when you see flying. Alright, another thing is balancing on boards. When you're walking across boards, like, yeah, to stay on it or you fall, you'll see that a little later on in the video. It sucks. <laughs> it's hard. Because you can't control the camera. The camera is set. But, you know, what can you do? It's still a fun game. Don't get me wrong. It's still fun. Keep that in mind. Alright, and sometimes you have to backtrack. Like, you don't know where to go. It doesn't tell you where to go. This game doesn't hold your hand. Uh, yeah. It, it doesn't hold your hand, man. Like, sometimes you go up here, do this. You don't know where the heck to do go. It doesn't tell you. But, you know, think about the old days, man. That's how it was. So don't even fret about that. You might, if you need help with that, I guess you can Google it. I never got to that point, though. And, yeah, at certain points, you, like, go, call your dragon in. You don't see that dragon that much, to be honest. It's pretty much you running through fighting this entire game. All right, what else do we need to talk about? Uh, Yeah, let's talk about the pros. The gameplay, like always. I'm telling you, this game is fun to play. It just might be me. I don't want to build it up too much. It might be the fact that I... Well, that's that bow attack I was talking about. It might be the fact that I thought this was going to be a really sucky game. You know, and I prepared myself for that. And I was pleasantly surprised. But I don't know. A lot of people hate it. And if you don't... If you think I'm like... I'm not doing an accurate description of the game. You know, go look at another review. Compare them. You know, see what we're talking about. Here's flying. This is what sucks about the game. That dragon handles, ugh, I hate this. Sometimes it turns and doesn't even let you know which way it's turning, and it just slams you into a tree. Uh, you eat the little doves to gain health. And on some places, you're supposed to use fire to, like, kill things. Use that little bow attack right there all the time. Just when you go in, just constantly hit A. And that will help you so much. So don't even worry about the little fire breathing. You would think you're riding a dragon. Fire breathing should be awesome. It's not. Just your bow attack is a lot better. Trust me. Uh, and yeah. Like right here. You go to these little places. You see that. You use your magic to pull it out. There's a lot of like running, jumping, crap like that. You know climbing. But it's hard because sometimes you don't know where to go next. But yeah. Like I said. Fun gameplay man. Uh, this game is a. Uh, Definitely 1k in a day material. I'd say it takes about 7 to 8 hours. And it takes about 3 or 4 hours for one playthrough. And a little less for the next one. I played through on normal first. Just to play the game. And then I went through on hard and got all the eggs. Hard isn't that hard really. It really isn't. So you ain't got to worry about that. I got stuck on one level. And I beat the boss fight in one try. The final boss fight. Both boss fights really. And it's just crazy. But this game is fun, so if you need some achievement points, I say pick this up or rent this game. 
So, yeah, rent it, check it out, you know, peace.